walked towards her. I could feel the sadness in her presence. Of course she was sad. I was really sad too. Change is a part of life and sometimes we used to have to accept that. I tried to explain that to her but she didn't really want to listen to me. Instead she asked me what I knew about change. Like I told her some lies and just didn't have any experience. I had begun to change a lot, but not in this way. I didn't really know how to comfort her or what I was supposed to say. So instead I decided to tell her my story. It all started here together with my mother. Her name is Maya Davidson and she is a famous rider around Jorvik. I had this pony called Charlie. He was a pony on the farm and I used to get to ride him while my mother rode her horses. I used to watch her ride, wishing that someday it would be me. Wishing that someday I would be like her. I remember like it was yesterday. The day I walked into the stable and found out that Charlie wasn't there anymore. I guess I was too young to understand, but my mother always said that he went to heaven. I didn't know where heaven was, so I kept going to the stable wishing that someday he would come back. I loved horses and it was my happy place. But one day when I went to his box, I realized that someone else was standing in it. I had gotten my own pony. Her name was Popcorn and it was love at first sight. She was everything I had ever dreamt of. I decided that day that it would always be me and her. She would forever be mine. And I was so, so happy about it. Like every other horse story, me and Popcorn started to train. She was a very special horse and she taught me a lot. Our training went really good and my mother was so proud of us. She was my trainer. Then we started to jump a bit and my dreams became a reality. I kept going to my mother's shows to watch her ride. She was my biggest inspiration and motivation to keep going. I imagine how free she must have felt, feeling her horse underneath her, jumping over those high jumps, the wind through her hair and the speed. I wanted to be just like her. It didn't take many years before me and Popcorn was actually there. We also started to compete a bit. If we won a medal or not didn't really matter. All that mattered to me was that she was mine and the bond we shared was truly amazing. Of course we had a few ups and downs through the years, but just having the chance to be with my horse and doing what we did made up for that. I loved her more than anything. There was one show in particular that changed a lot in my story. It was a very special day because it was my first time doing an inside competition. Popcorn was excited as usual, but I felt nervous. This was the first time my mother was actually going to watch me ride instead of standing in the arena together with me. I felt a lot of pressure from it, even if she didn't say anything. I just wanted to make her proud. I started to ride and we did a few jumps. I was so excited and it felt like flying. The feeling was just amazing. I got eye contact with my mother and she smiled at me. But then something happened. I think the pressure took over me and I just lost my riding. Popcorn refused to jump and she went crazy. I tried to calm her down, but nothing worked. She didn't want to move, she didn't want me to ride her. All I tried to do was hold on and not fall off. And my mother watched everything from where she was standing. Get that pony away from my child, she shouted through the arena. The next day I went to the stable again. I watched my mother and she had to put up a sign. What are you doing? I asked her. She tried to explain to me that we couldn't keep popcorn, that she was too dangerous. I tried to argue back and say that I could fix her, that she was mine and she couldn't just take her away from me. She didn't want me to keep my horse, and there was nothing I could do about it. I was so angry at her, and I never forgave her for what she did to me. I lost my horse and all I could do was just accept the change and move on. I couldn't. I didn't know how. I hate you, was all I can say to my mother. Then I started to cry, and I ran away. I ran away from my problems, because I didn't know what else I was supposed to do. I tried to ride many horses after that, but no one could ever give me the feeling that Popcorn had given me. 
Not sure was a very special horse and my mother tried to convince me to ride him. I did ride him a few times and we actually did some competitions together too. But riding was not the same anymore and probably would never be. Even if I tried to move on I just couldn't. And after a while I decided that riding was not for me anymore. I didn't want to do it. I decided to quit. I put the hat on the shelf and I never went back to myself again. Although I kept going to my mother's shows because I loved watching her ride, there was some type of comfort in it and a way for me to grieve. I kept imagining that I would be like her, that someday Popco would get back and we could start over again. After every show, she always asked me if I had changed my mind, if I would want to ride again. My answer was always no. But this time, I actually decided to tell her the truth. I told her everything, every single thing that I felt inside. She asked me if I didn't want to do it again with Nacho. I told her that he is a great horse, but she had to accept that I didn't want to ride him. I think she got it. I think this was actually the first time she understood what I meant and accepted it. She asked me one more time if Nacho wasn't the worst for me. I told her that Nacho wasn't popcorn. No one could ever replace that of worse. And that's when she told me that she had a surprise. I couldn't believe her. She had bought popcorn again. I couldn't believe it when I was standing eye to eye with her. I tried to see if it was actually real by whistling to her. She stood there for a while, just watched me, before she finally took a few steps towards me. Her body was still there. She was still mine, and she was back. happy since she left me. I decided that I wanted to take her for a ride. I wanted to feel the freedom again. I wanted to feel that happiness. I wanted to feel used her. I didn't want to ride if it wasn't for popcorn. When I sat up, I realized something. Some years had passed and I had grown. The only problem was that my pony hadn't grown with me. I was too big for her. She was excited though, and I felt that she wanted me to ride her. One last time.
she was a pony, she wouldn't want to stand in a paddle for her whole day. I watched her walk away and she stopped on the hill. I think that was her way of saying goodbye. <laughs> I would love her. <laughs> and this was the big change in our story. This was the end. She is gone. And we have to accept that. There is nothing we can do to bring her back. She is in heaven now. She may be gone, but the love is not. Our memories will still live on. Popcorn is forever mine. And she is forever yours too. She is forever ours. In the end, we both knew that it wouldn't have lasted forever. But that didn't stop us from hoping it would.